कैन बी अ फन गेम अ टेम्पररी अनोयंस और अ डीप अनप्लेजेंट एक्सपीरियंस डिपेंडिंग ऑन अ पर्सन टिकल रिस्पॉन्स पीपल वेरी इन हाउ सेंसिटिव दे आर टू टिकलिंग सम पीपल आर ओनली टिकली समाइम्स वेल अदर्स आर नॉट टिकलिश एट ऑल बट वाई आर वी टिकलिश इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस वाई डू वी लव वेन वी गेट टिकल्ड लेट्स फाइंड आउट टिकलिंग इज द एक्ट ऑफ टचिंग अ पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी इन अ वे दैट कॉजेज इन वॉलेंटरी ट्विचिंग मूवमेंट्स और लाफ्टर It's a sensation that you get when either something mildly moves across your skin or when someone attacks you in a vulnerable place for fun says Glenn Weisfeld a psychologist who has studied human emotion and tickling Our skin is able to detect different feelings the skin uses different cells inside of it to tell us feelings such as touch vibration and pain scientists think perhaps the feeling of being tickled comes when the skin cells are telling us that we are feeling pain and touch together there are two types of ticklings with different causes nervousness is when a light skin irritation such as a bug walking on the skin can trigger an urge to brush it away some believe this response may protect against insect bites a person can tickle themselves in this way Gargalysis is a more intense type of tickling, the kind that causes people to laugh when somebody repeatedly touches a sensitive area of the body. People cannot tickle themselves in this way. Tickling may be a reflexive response. Some people do not enjoy being tickled, but it can still cause a laughter reflex. However, in the same way that a person may cry when cutting onions without necessarily feeling sad, laughter does not always indicate enjoyment. In 2013, a group of scientists placed people in a brain scanner and then tickled their feet. They found that an area of the brain related to involuntary responses, the hypothalamus, was active when tickling generated laughter. This suggests that the tickle response is involuntary tickling is also a form of social bonding it is one of the early forms of communication between parents and children and is a way of young children to play around with their friends so perhaps researchers say tickling is a way to form connections with people however this reason does not apply to everyone as some people find tickling painful another idea is that we have evolved to be ticklish as a way to protect vulnerable spots from attack for example when a stomach is ticklish you are now more aware that you need to protect it if you are facing some sort of threat some body parts are more ticklish than the others the places you're most ticklish tend to be the places most vulnerable to a physical attack commonly ticklish areas include stomach sides armpits feet neck etc Another question which might come to your mind is can we tickle ourselves? The answer is <laughs> you guessed it right. No. You cannot tickle yourself because you know it's coming. Lack of surprise somehow appears to trip up the entire tickling response because your brain knows ahead of time that you're going to cause a sensation to your own body. Now why does tickling make you laugh? Let's check that out. It seems weird that if we're trying to defend ourselves against a friendly attack, our natural reaction is to laugh uncontrollably. There's no definitive answer to this question, but there are several theories. Evolutionary biologists and neuroscientists believe that we laugh when we are tickled because the part of the brain that tells us to laugh when we experience a light touch, the hypothalamus is also the same part that tells us to expect a painful sensation. Laughing when tickled in our sensitive spots under the arms near the throat and under our feet could be a defensive mechanism. Another idea is that laughing is a response learned during childhood. If young children are being tickled in a playful setting in which they're already laughing, they might come over time to associate tickling with laughter. Though it is a nearly universal human experience, researchers still do not fully understand the tickle response. It does not seem to link to particular personality traits or physical attributes at all. It is still unclear if you can make yourself less ticklish no matter where you fall on the ticklish spectrum it is important to have boundaries don't force people to endure tickling even if they are laughing well that's all for today's video so if you enjoyed this video do like comment and subscribe to explified and don't forget to press the bell icon bye